Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV and the big story. We're now tracking the various uh, cases regarding the Gyan Vapi Mosque. Now, first, the case will be coming up in the local court in Varanasi. This is regarding the survey of the Gyan Vapi uh, Mosque complex. Also, the matter will be coming up in the Supreme Court, uh, where the mosque management has petitioned against this survey being conducted in the first place. Uh, we're joined now uh, by Sanket and also Alok joining us from Varanasi, where that hearing is going to take place in a short while from now. Uh, Alok what is the latest you can share with us? And also there's another uh, petition that has been filed now regarding the claims that were made yesterday about a shivling having been discovered. And now, uh, based on that, a fresh petition has been filed. Uh, well, yes, you are right. But I think, like I said, it would be pertinent to wait to see whether the court actually accepts the petition or says anything about it before we talk about it because it is a sensitive, it is a matter of uh, very sensitive nature. I'll first uh, go and tell you what is going to happen today. Uh, somebody just asked, you know, if the court, if uh, there is going to be a delay in the filing of the report, then what will the court hear? And it's a very pertinent question because uh, at 2 p.m. there are two or three things that are expected to happen. Number one, like we've been reporting, uh, the court appointed advocates who acted as commissioners in this entire survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque. Uh, they have put up an application saying that they want two more days to complete their report. Now, it is up to the judge uh, to consider that, whether he accepts that it can be done in two days, whether he wants a shorter time frame, whether he wants a longer time frame. That's one of the things that will be decided. An advocate for the government, because the government is also a party, has also approached the court. And uh, that gentleman has filed an application saying that, you know, because that entire area in the Gyanwapi Mosque, which is where the Vazu takes place, uh, that has been sealed off. That is leading to problems. Problems for people who are coming into the mosque to pray. And also problems because it's a pond, a tank. And that's why there are fishes, etc. inside. So that petition prays for the appointment of a fresh court commissioner who can go back to that area and actually uh, take a call on what to do with it, whether that area should remain sealed or whether there can be a workaround. So that's number two. Number three, like you pointed out, the petitioners, three of the women who are part of the original petition that led to the survey happen in the first place, have approached court asking for uh, another survey, if I can put it that way right now. Uh, so they've asked for a fresh survey in some part of the mosque. Whether that is allowed or not, we wait to see the language of that petition. Like I said, it's very sensitive, so I don't want to talk about it till the court actually accepts it or the court makes a, remarks on, a remark on it or whether the court rejects it. So let's just wait for that to happen. But I think the overarching, the larger picture of that petition is that they want a fresh survey in some parts of the mosque. So these are the three things that are likely to be taken up. We are told that it will happen at two. Uh, it could be delayed by a few minutes, but uh, this is what is likely in the lower court here in Varanasi, where I am right now. Right. And Alok, also, uh, you know, the main focus being on the Supreme Court as well, which is going to take up whether this survey in the first place should be conducted or not. Well, you are absolutely right. I think that is why, you know, every time we've been discussing this, I've been saying that I think the bigger story today may come out of the Supreme Court of India. Uh, but one waits to see when that hearing will happen, because what is being challenged there is the uh, totality of the survey and the fact that, uh, you know, uh, the, one of the sites, the sites of the mosque management committee is saying that this entire survey order is illegal. And they are, of course, relying on what they say is the places of worship, act, which, uh, uh, which calls for not what they say, it is already in existence, but they claim, they pray in their petition that because that act is in place, any survey of the mosque is illegal. And that is the plea with which they have gone to the Supreme Court of India. Uh, so one waits to see what news is going to come out of there. So I think this is both going to happen simultaneously. On one hand, you're going to have the Supreme Court maybe listen to it uh, around 2 p.m. And the Varanasi court proceedings, we've been told, are going to start uh, at 2 p.m. Exactly. So 2 p.m. are going to be this, uh, these three big important petitions that are going to be heard, which Alok explained. Uh, we are uh, reporting non-stop. It's 1.55 in about five minutes from now, Gargi. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll start seeing some movement as far as courts are concerned. Now, uh, Alok, one important point that we saw the Supreme Court make or observe while delivering the Ayodhya verdict was in the context of there not being anything uh, retrogressive in nature. Uh, which is why I think they reiterated the essence of the Places of Worship Act 1991. Perhaps fearing that something like this is going to happen? 
Uh, well, uh, would be a little difficult perhaps to, for me to say why they did it, but they certainly did it, right, Sanket? That is not under dispute. Mm. They did make an exception for Ayodhya and made it clear that Ayodhya was the only exception. But right now you have a case where a civil suit has been filed about the Gyanwati Mosque, which has led a judge in the lower court to order a survey based on his wisdom or his interpretation of the law. That survey has concluded, you know, even before the report was officially submitted to court, you've had the petitioners, especially from one side, come out and give public statements about what was found, including this alleged uh, shivling that was found in the Wazoo area of the mosque. Uh, Again, just to point out that you have a situation where the report officially has not even been signed by the court commissioners. They are saying, it will take us another two days to prepare the report. And yet you have all of these lawyers coming out and talking about this uh, in absolute finality. And you've had a situation where they have gone to court, prayed that that area be sealed off. And the judge has ordered that the area should be sealed off. So like I said, this is the wisdom of the lower court and they, uh, the judge has done it uh, based on, like I said, what is his interpretation of uh, the sequence of events. But the larger overarching picture is before the but Supreme Alok, Court what of are India. Hearing, what so are you hearing what as, as far as the events of yesterday are concerned? I know you have to go inside court, but right. uh, uh, just wanted to ask you what... What have you uh, heard from lawyers from both sides saying about the manner in which yesterday, even before the court commissioners could submit their survey, uh, for there to be this whole conversation around shivling versus fountain, and then eventually moving court and getting a getting an order area sealed, area sealed also. No, see, I think uh, there, are, there is a distinct divide, right? On one side, you have the petitioners, the five women, their lawyers. On the other side, you have uh, the lawyers for the mosque committee. I think we've all seen what's played out, you know. I mean, on one hand, like I said, like I was saying, even before the court uh, appointed advocates or commissioners have gone and uh, uh, prepared their report, signed it, you've had these public statements. The other side has said that, look, it's, it's a fountain. That's what they are saying. They're saying it's a fountain. If it was really a shivling, why would we keep it there for 400 years, etc., etc.? So I think the larger story, again, is this deep, distinct divide that has been created. On one hand, you have this entire narrative of the shivling being found. On the other hand, you have strong denials. This is what we saw yesterday, and this is what we are likely to see today, too. But like I said, again, just to... I mean, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I think... Uh, 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 the most important event today is what happens in Supreme Court. All right, Alok, we'll let you go now so you can, you know, uh, get us the latest there uh, from the local court in Varanasi. But as uh, Sanket, as Alok said, the main focus is on the Supreme Court. You spoke about, you know, how uh, the Supreme Court uh, during its uh, Yodhya verdict had reiterated uh, the, the Places of Worship Act 1991. And the reasons, I think, were quite clear because even, uh, you know, during the whole time of the Yodhya Mandir, there, was, there were all these murmurs of Kashi and Mathura, etc. And I think the Supreme Court, in its wisdom, had, you know, wanted to put a stop to any more uh, digging up uh, 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 across India. Yeah, Perhaps so the that essence, is the reason. You know, Gargi, the essence of the Places of Worship Act 1991, because in this context it is being spoken about a lot, yes. was exactly to make sure that a repeat of Ayodhya does not happen in this country. That was the essence of that law. It was opposed by the BJP in 1991 also when PV Narsimha Rao government brought it in. And the reason why Ayodhya was an exception to this law is because Ayodhya's was a title suit which, which was going on. Yes. It predated even independence. So while that was on, so the government said, fine, let the courts decide this case and we will not keep it in the ambit of this law. But so that there is no future claim, so that there is no Mathura, so that there is no uh, Kashi and many other places. That's why this law comes into effect. The BJP opposed and if you it just back explain then. Explain for viewers what exactly this law entails. Okay, so the Places of Worship Act 1991 basically says that the uh, religious structure of a place shall stand the way it is as it was on the 15th of August 1947 minus Ayodhya. That is what the Places of Worship Act was. It prohibits the conversion of any place prohibits the conversion of any place into some other religious structure simply because somebody feels that uh, 200 or 300 or 400 years ago it was something else. Now most of the people who uh, are either BJP supporters or who are BJP leaders themselves are saying that when you say an original place of worship, do you 
consider the fact that a structure was built on top of an existing structure which means let's just say for argument in in kashi the contention is that there was a temple and on top of that temple a mosque has been built that is the claim that is being made so many leaders of the bjp also lawyers uh, they say that then by that logic should we be consider the, considering gyanwapi as a mosque or a temple on top of which a mosque has been built and in that context should we not find out should there be not surveys to find out what really the truth was see the point is and here is where politics comes into the picture gargi right if this is a purely academic exercise then nobody can have an objection why can't you have an academic exercise the archaeological survey of india has been digging i mean the uh, the entire findings in rakhi gadi are a great achievement for the archaeological survey of india we are getting to know more it's an academic exercise we are learning more about history but the point is and that is where politics comes into the picture is this survey or will this survey be used to alter the uh, religious nature of this mosque that is most important All right, and the we... point is when you speak to people in the bjp uh, in hush hush tones they do admit that we need to revisit the places of worship act as well because the moment you alter places of worship act then the road is clear this is the only thing that stands in the way of converting places of worship all right and then we'll have many more uh, petitions regarding many other areas i'm sure uh, well let's go across to arvind who joins us uh, from the supreme court arvind what's the latest there gargi the supreme court will be shortly hearing this particular appeal that has been filed by the management committee of the mark challenging the allahabad high court order so allahabad high court had allowed the uh, conduct of the survey in the mosque in gyanwapi that has been challenged by the masjid committee here in the supreme court so though the survey process has been completed but still the report is yet to be submitted so the matter has not yet become infectious only the survey has been completed but the report is yet to be submitted before the uh, co competent court by the court appointed uh, committees or the surveyors so that has been challenged by the masjid committee here in the supreme court and supreme court shortly will hear the bench led by justice dy chandrachur uh, and narasimha justice narasimha will be hearing this appeal against the allahabad high court order that paid way for this particular survey in uh, uh, survey in that particular march so the matter will be heard in some half an hour also also very importantly the hindu sena has also filed an intervening application in this particular right. matter wherein they had asked the supreme court not to pass any order on the plea by the uh, masjid side saying that they should also be heard in this particular matter because they are also a stakeholder in this matter so the supreme court has not given any go ahead for the intervening application to be intervened in this particular matter they have just asked the intervening side that is the hindu sena side to be present in the court when the matter is taken up for the hearing so when the matter is taken up the, for the hearing sometime we are expecting somewhere around 3 o'clock that's when we'll get to know whether the supreme court will allow the hindu sena side to intervene that's one thing also and do we know what the their intervention the is uh, arvind do we know what exactly uh, you know their contention is in this entire matter uh gaki what they are saying is that as as a stakeholder in this particular matter so they also should be heard hindu sena being a, a body that represents the hindus they also want to be heard in this particular matter the the, the main contention is that supreme court should not hear only the appeal preferred by the masjid committee and then pass any order in fact they should also be heard because they are also stakeholder in the matter and that's why they should be allowed to intervene in this matter that's the main uh, uh, ground on which are the main contention that is yet to be cleared by the supreme court for now so for now supreme court will first hear the appeal preferred by the masjid committee wherein they have stop they have rather than they have challenged this entire survey process so that will be heard along with the intervening application might also be heard by the supreme court something we can hear post 3 o'clock That's right Arvin uh, you know I distinctly remember November 2019 you know Gargi Arvin and I were in the lawns of the Supreme Court reporting on the Ram Temple judgment uh, and Arvin we read out the portion of the order uh, where it was clearly mentioned that uh, while a judgment in Ayodhya is being delivered uh, there should be a very strong stress on the fact that this is not repeated and uh, the essence of the places of worship act uh, is implemented now in the very same supreme court a lot of people a lot of lawyers namely mr ashwini upadhyay who's uh, also there are articles written about him uh, arvin that he is not a, a public interest litigation expert but a political interest litigation expert on the on behalf of the bjp because he's a bjp leader also now he challenges the places of worship act itself uh 
when when is the court likely or is the court likely to touch upon this act itself because you know some of those lawyers who pronounced that judgment are hearing this case as well yeah i think in fact if you could read the uh, ayodhya judgment places of worship act had its own place in that particular judgment and if you could remember it that particular judgment was given the supreme court invoked its extraordinary power under article 142 to ensure that the justice is met so that's why supreme court invoked that 142 also while giving the land uh, to the mosque side also so places of worship act had its own place in that particular judgment now if the if either of the parties are challenging the places of worship act per se then that's something that supreme court we are not sure whether the supreme court will entertain that plea at that at this particular point of our like gandhi and luver explaining that will open a pandora box just getting into place of worship act supreme court will be very cautious because they would be asking the they will be putting the ball back into the legislature to get into the domain of that but coming to this very important point that you raised about this hearing because uh, judges uh, justice dy chandrachud and uh, narasimha justice narasimha who has been recently elevated to supreme court so uh, some uh, both of them will be hearing this matter somewhere around post 3 o'clock where both the sides some of the uh, lawyers who appeared for the parties in the ayodhya matter will also be representing either side or both the sides in this particular matter so we have to wait and watch how the supreme court will take this matter into because the survey okay. the survey is done but the report is yet to be submitted so that's the catch point here so supreme court will be cautious of that particular factor and then we have to wait what will be the interim arrangement that supreme in the, court in the okay okay arvin in the next 50 minutes or so gargi we should have clarity on what these courts uh, observe or what order do they give the latest breaking news that we are getting from our colleague saurabh shukla is that the hearing in the varanasi court has now begun two things that are going to happen in the varanasi court number one whether it admits this brand new petition which has been introduced where uh, the petitioners are saying that in light of these fresh revelations of whether it is a shivling or a uh, or a fountain well they're going some with action, the assumption that it is a shivling they're going by the assumption that this is right. a shivling and that action be taken and uh, lord nandi be allowed to see uh, the shivling now that will involve breaking down a wall that is the petition but this even before uh, the court has accepted exactly. the survey findings exactly. or, or they've been submitted in court so whether right. this will be admitted or not is going to be decided in just a short moment from now number 2 the original case where the court had said that you present in front of us the findings of your survey by the 17th of may to that the lawyers or the uh, commissioners advocate commissioners have said that we have not completed quite completed right, our report just yet more, uh, we need 2 days 2 to 3 more days so will that time be given by the court or not so these two things are going to be heard by the varanasi court in new delhi in the supreme court the muslim side has now moved the court saying that we were not even heard when this decision was taken of uh, shutting down our wazukhana uh, uh, and also the manner in which this survey is being conducted uh we are not satisfied with the order of the local court in varanasi that's why they have moved the supreme court so three crucial things that are going to happen as far as these petitions are concerned in varanasi gargi uh, as we mentioned the, the proceedings begun. have now begun all right i'm waiting for the proceedings uh, here in the supreme court which obviously are the more important uh, you know proceedings and the hearing to take place uh, in which the uh, the mosque management has contested the fact that the survey is taking place we're joined now by ashutosh shrivastava advocate supreme court and someone who supports the bjp also kapil madan an advocate of the supreme court as well so very very key hearing uh, taking place in the supreme court and we'll know whether we're going to you know be talking about this a lot more uh, going forward uh, first your comments ashutosh shrivastav yeah uh, yes uh, uh, you know uh, we have to see whether uh, supreme court uh, decides to intervene in the matter or not uh, because every appeal is not entertained by the supreme court unless what is your view there is Mr. some merit uh my view would be the court will only see that the interim order which has been passed by the trial court regarding the uh survey of the area whether th- that order was within the purview of the law or not and uh, whether uh, you know at th- this is the right stage to intervene in the matter or not uh because see uh, uh, as we know that the places of worship act has al- also got certain exceptions like one of the exceptions we have already seen in the 
ram jan bhumi issue which was uh, uh, you know which was under the exception and this law did not apply accordingly there are certain other exceptions Would as well you like to elaborate uh, sir uh, yes uh, the other exception uh, the first exception yeah the first exception is that if a place of religious activity has changed its character after 15th of august 1947 then the provisions of this uh, uh, places of worship act 1991 when was the gyanwapi mosque built now now i'm coming to the second one now we have to see which exception it falls under if that is so now the second exception is important uh, it says that if if a place having any ancient monument value uh and if it comes under the provisions of the ancient uh, monument and archaeological uh, sites and remains act 1958 and the monument is like more than 100 years old mm-hmm. then in that case the provisions of uh, uh, you know the places of worship act will not apply so now we have to see whether it falls any of these exceptions right. now the third exception is yes there is a third exception which says that if there is any sort of uh, settlement between the parties or if there is any uh, matter is disposed of then in that case the provisions of uh, the places of worship act will not apply so now i think the third is uh, obviously doesn't apply here but sure. whether any of these exceptions one or two apply or not that has to be seen further mm. right uh, kapil mm. madan are your view on that because more and more we're hearing people talking about you know how uh, the, this complex and the the, the entire uh, kashi vishwanath temple complex falls under this ancient monuments archaeological sites act uh, what is your view of this So Nidhi ji, I will make two legal and technical points here. The point number one is that uh, let's look, let's look at from where Mr. the Mr. Mr. Madan, uh, I I really apologize. I'm going to come back to you. There's some breaking news uh, that we are getting as of this moment. Our colleague Saurabh Shukla as well as Alok Pandey are getting information from a Varanasi court. Saurabh Shukla reports that Alok Nath Yadav, who is uh, the lawyer from the Gyanwapi Masjid. He says कोर्ट का आदेश था कि सर्वे की कार्रवाई बिल्कुल गोपनीय रहेगी पर बाहर मीडिया में आके जोर जोर से पक्षकारों ने सर्वे की जानकारी दी विच मीन एग्जैक्टली सो सो दो द लॉयर वेरी क्लियरली मैं दिस वॉज सपोज टू बी इन सील्ड ऑन वोलअप इट वॉज सपोज टू बी अ सीक्रेट द फाइंडिंग ऑफ द सर्वे हाउ एवर दे वो मेड वेरी वेरी पब्लिक एंड वेरी वेरी ओपन इन इन द मीडिया विच इज अ वायलेशन ऑफ वॉट द कोर्ट हैड ऑर्डर्ड ये कोर्ट के आदेश का उल्लंघन है एंड वाइल ऑल ऑफ दिस इज है आलोक पांडे नाउ रिपोर्ट दैट गार्गी देर आर हीटेड आर्ग्यूमेंट टेकिंग प्लेस इन द वाराणसी कोर्ट वेर बोथ सेट्स ऑफ एडवोकेट्स आर शाउटिंग एट द टॉप ऑफ देयर वॉइस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द जज uh pretty much like a tv debate <laughs> all right so that uh, is what's going on in the local court we're waiting uh, for the supreme court hearing to b- begin but yes uh, kapil madan we were uh, you know discussing this issue of uh, ancient archaeological sites and uh, you know whether there is uh, some sort of ancient monuments yeah. uh, act whether that is something that comes into play here because that is something uh, that those who are supporting the fact that there's a temple under the mosque are you know talking about more and more So let me let me uh, respond. I have two short points to make. Point number one is if you look at the context, if you look at the historical uh, uh, history of this case, how this was started, it was basically started where one of the petitioner said that they wanted to pray at the disputed site for all year along. Uh, there, I mean, there are reports to say that they can uh, pray for one day. However, they said they would be. they should be allowed to pray for the entire year now look at you know how the nature of the case is being now being changed now the fact if, if the fact remains if you want to pray at the site and you were you were already praying at the site albeit only for a day then this entire exercise you know of survey what was there whether there is a shivling what was the historical back, background of the case to me it looks like an exercise in futility because the the very exercise which you are trying to do is barred by the express provision of the law which is section 3 uh, of the uh, places of worship act which clearly says i'm sorry four of the places of worship act which clearly says that you can't change the religious character of any place it shall continue to remain the way it was before 1947 so your fact finding is is only limited to the relief that the petitioner mm. is trying to ask mm. now be that as it may we don't know what was there i mean if you want to create if you want to do an academic exercise then perhaps you can't do it in this particular proceedings you, okay. you initiate any other proceeding but to carry out a proceeding which is no so you're basically the, saying that the survey itself the survey itself carries no meaning 
I agree with you. That's 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 the point. No, no, I'm this is, this is, this, I'm only repeating what you are saying. I am I am I am saying I am saying the dispute the the petition. See, you have to see the suit and the prayer, the ultimate relief which you are seeking in the suit. And the I think that's the reason why this matter has gone to the this exact angle whether right. whether the survey itself should be ordered or not has gone uh, to the Supreme Court also. In the meanwhile, some more information coming in from Alok Pandey Gargi. He says the lawyers for the petitioners asking for a fresh survey inside the mosque. This is that petition number three that we were talking about related to the new petition filed by three of the women asking for a door to be opened or broken to further investigate the contours of the. Uh, "Quote unquote shivling." Uh, in the meantime, uh, the court appointed advocate commissioner has requested the court to grant him two more days of additional time to submit the survey. So the finding. survey has still not been submitted. Remember, it it's was meant submitted. to be submitted today. However, uh, as we've been uh, saying and reporting on NDTV, we interviewed uh, the one of the surveyors as well, and he said that he needs two to three more days. The issue is also that this survey was meant to be submitted to the court in secret, in a secret, in a in a con in, in a Correct. document, and in a sealed about document, it and it now. wasn't meant to uh, you know come out in the media. Uh, except that yesterday we had uh, you know all these chants of Har Har Mahadev and and you know shouting that the shibling was found, Baba was found and uh, then wh what have you this uh, you know situation though at the same time the lawyer uh, for the Hindu side did approach the court Sanket and the court did admit that plea and asked did not say anything about the shivling but did ask for the pond area the so Bazu now, Khana now to be sealed. The latest is that Mr. Yadav who is uh, Abhinath Yadav who is the lawyer for the mosque committee he is repeatedly saying that no fresh petition should be entertained uh, till such time that the committee submits its report. That means till such time that the survey report is submitted and the court is apprised of uh, the matter, they can study in detail uh, what exactly are the findings. No such petition must be filed. Now, latest coming in, the uh, this is information from Saurabh Shukla, uh, Hindu Paksh. I will translate it uh, as I speak. We have application lagai hai, which means that the Hindu side is saying that we have uh, uh, filed a new application. We ask that the wall is हमें मलबा हटाकर शिवलिंग की लंबाई चौड़ाई नापने की इजाजत दी जाए which means that we must be allowed to remove the wall which is covering uh, what they claim is a shivling uh, that wall must go and we must be allowed to measure the uh, size of the uh, what they claim is a shivling iska naya survey karaya jaye which means a brand new survey must be conducted court is karwai ke liye court commissioner nuke kare which means that the prayer is gargi that there be a fresh survey under a fresh advocate commissioner this apart from the survey uh, and this when the survey has not yet has been, not been completed yeah has not been given uh, to the court so uh, that's what's happening at the local uh, court level and we're waiting for more you know information from our supreme reporters court. there yeah. uh, but uh, the hearing at the supreme court is what we're waiting for right now and uh, ashutosh shivastav again you know uh, we're waiting for what the supreme court will rule on this but really it would open a pandora's box is the reason why uh, you know you have this places of worship act uh, it's because uh, if if this is allowed then the worry is that all all over the country such petitions are going to be filed and you know uh, and uh, pleas being made about uh, ancient temples under mosques etc uh, see the purpose of uh, you know enacting such law in 1991 the places of worship act was the same however there were certain exceptions which were mentioned because in these kind of extreme cases uh, where there are uh, uh, sufficient evidences available so in those kind of cases, uh, people should not suffer. If anybody feels that their constitutional right has been violated, they can approach the court. And uh, if there are certain exceptions which can fall under these kind of cases, then obviously they, they have no, the I right. Mean, you know, I'm trying to understand, the... Mr. Shivasa, one very simple question. Are you suggesting yes. that, and, and we have seen uh, many lawyers in the Supreme Court, uh, namely Mr. Ashwini Upadhyay of the BJP, who says that uh, it is now time and the BJ, this is BJP stated position. They were upset with the fact that Places of Worship Act came into existence in 1991. By the and way, they, they walked, walked out, out of parliament. They walked well, out of yes. parliament back then. Are you saying okay. that once it is, you know, as part of this academic exercise, once you figure out whether this was a temple or a mosque and if it 
in the findings and I'm being I'm I'm assuming a number of things if it is found out that this was indeed built on top of a temple are you suggesting that uh, they sh we must hunt for exceptions or do away with a law which alters the religious nature of this of this building uh, see will, uh, that, be correct? will that not go against the spirit of what the court said in November 2019 while delivering the Ram, Man Ram temple where they judgment. reiterated no, the uh, this no, court didn't say anything uh, contrary to the law. The court, the court was very well within the ambit of the law which has been enacted in 1991, and nobody is against it. I, uh, there are, uh, you know, the uh, the exceptions cannot be read in uh, read in further exceptions. See, there was exception so far as Ram Janabhumi is concerned, and that is why this matter could have been decided by the Supreme Court. Otherwise, there was no provision only to decide. Now, with the same set of facts and the legal provisions. There are other exceptions to so why those other exceptions should not be uh, uh, read out or to be availed by the people who think that this fall, this particular issue falls under the exception of that act. Well, well See, there could be many uh, exceptions the court, then raised. The, Kapil Madan, I'd like be, to get your that, view on that this. That could be. Right, let's get Kapil in here. Kapil Madan, your view on this. So let me let me respond and you know let us see what the Supreme Court is examining. The Supreme Court is examining the fact that whether the order passed in the absence without giving notice to the other side by the trial court, whether this order is correct or not. To my mind, the rule of natural justice clearly says that if you want to pass an order against any party, you should give an opportunity of being heard, which is called all the alter important rule in our in our jurisprudence that mandates that you should give an opportunity of being heard to the other side, which is the affected party. So to my mind, it appears to me that in this case, prima facie, that has been violated and the Supreme Court will take a cognizance of that. Now, let me respond to the question here. My learned friend is here that there is an exception uh, under the uh, Places of Worship Act and he is com coming under the exception. Now, let us see in the context of what the dispute is before the trial court. The dispute is not whether it is Mandir or it was a Masjid and what is the historical background. Now, the petitioner is basically praying that he should be allowed to pray there for the entire year. Now, if this is the dispute, then why this survey is required? You are changing the goalpost. You are basically changing the entire nature of the dispute. And it is going in altogether a different direction. If there is a prayer... You need to you need to argue and give evidence uh, for the facts which are in issue between the parties, which will be which will be in aid to the main prayer that the petitioner is trying to seek before the court. If you are going in all the directions, to my mind, it appears even if if my learned friend says that no, this is covered under the exception. To my mind, to my understanding, the, the, the very exercise of this survey... No, and also, also by the way, they, last year there was a petition in, in a court in Varanasi that the ASI be allowed to carry out a survey, which was, there was a stay order on this by the Allahabad High Court. This is a fresh petition and I believe now there will be more and more petitions, uh, pretty much... Right. Right. You know, again, also, you, you are not, question. Actually, not political also, yes, otherwise I would have asked you, is this going the Ayodhya right, way? Kapil yeah. Madan, I'd like to ask you a question about, you know, what's happening in Varanasi right now and the fact that this survey was being done. Uh, it was a three-day survey and was meant to be submitted today uh, to the court in a sealed cover. However, uh, the information leaking out in the manner in which it did with lawyers claiming a shibling has been found. Uh, that too is currently being, you know, talked about in the local court today and the uh, lawyer for the exactly. mosque Before they asked this. Is questioning that how could this be leaked before out to the you, media before like you, this? Before you answer this question, uh, Alok Pandey has just given some fresh information. The court commissioner is, and I'm quoting what Alok is sending. The court commissioner is saying when the survey was under the uh, under the guidance of the court, why were the videographers on TV giving uh, reactions to the media? He says they have done their work without any bias, and this will reflect in their report. So that's the latest so coming. So the in. fact that it leaked out in this manner, your comments on that? So yes, let me respond. I will. I will just uh, give another. Uh, will side one uh, legal technical uh, uh, rule that we use that there should not be any apprehension of bias, and it should not be that you should do justice. The justice should seems to have been done. And let me tell you why I am raising this question. Now there were reports in the media 
that the the trial court that was listening this case he in this order he has basically written down that he is receiving threat so when the parties are in dispute and if you are mentioning in the order that uh, he is receiving threat while he is hearing the same case and the parties in the case are being apprised of the fact that he is being threatened by you know any side to me it it is a sufficient uh, reason or it is a sufficient cause to believe or there are reasonable apprehensions to say that there could be bias while he is deciding the case so and and the second aspect is that the the confidential the report should have been confidential it is again being leaked in the media so i i would i would just say that there are some uh, serious legal infirmities in the way the trial court is functioning and i am sure the you know supreme court is season of the matter and they will look into all the aspects of this case and will pass an appropriate order mm. right this has been spoken on uh, by our reporters as well even as they were questioning uh, the the lawyer and the lawyer was saying that the shivling has been found etc our reporter did point out how are you talking to us about it so openly because isn't this all meant to be a secret right now uh, but yes so a lot of I questions think lawyers are raised, being pulled up by the way gargi lawyers are being pulled up in court a lot of questions being raised in the manner in which this exactly and even done. in court where the uh, the advocate commissioners are having to convince the court by giving out statements saying humne bina bhedbhav ke kaam kiya hai which means that we have not our report is not biased uh, main apni report bina bhedbhav ke dunga ye dono dharmo ki aastha ki baat hai this is a matter of and very faith. sensitive matter sanket yeah. and it to be leaked out in this manner and all those chants of har har mahadev and baba mil gaya at a time when this was all meant to be uh, done in a very you know the, the court uh, secret is, and the uh, court is quipping also where they are looking at the lawyers and telling them ये बस नेशनल चैनल पे दिखाई देते हैं बस ऑल एवर थैंक यू जेंटलमैन फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द प्रोग्राम एंड वी वेटिंग फॉर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू टू यू नो कंडक्ट द हियरिंग एंड टेक अप द अपील बाय द मॉस्क मैनेजमेंट विल स्लिप इनटू अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक एंड रिटर्न विद मोर